The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, here we go, the start of the week here. We've got a new moon coming up, and with a new moon, of course, we're going to have our moon man coming on today. Norm Winsky will be our guest at the half hour. Uh, I've posted the chart for the DAX. As you can see, it follows the same types of patterns that we see in the S&P. It's actually started to move lower after that last little rally that we had uh, earlier in the evening. So, uh, well, that was the evening in the uh, uh, Tucson. It was early morning in uh, London and also in New York. Let's take a look here. We had a request here to take a look at one particular stock, and that is Visa. I believe that's what the V is. And you can see here, this is the weekly chart. There are two patterns here. First of all, you see the easy ABCD pattern that started in December, and then it came down, made a beautiful 78% retracement, absolutely spot on went up, came down, made a perfect 61% retracement, and now has completed the ABCD butterfly pattern, just spot on on the weekly basis. Uh, so that pattern is certainly completed, and it's right near the high. 131.82 is where it closed on Friday. Now, if we take a look at the daily chart of this, you're going to see a verification of that same pattern that we've just talked about. This is the same pattern, only it's spread out over a bigger period of time, so you can see it a little bit easier. You'll get it up here, and there's the same butterfly pattern. Those are the same ratios that we were just chatting about. The interesting one is, if you'll notice the, the one between uh, the 19th of March and where we are right now, uh, that's just a tad above the 1.618 ratio. Uh, so this is going to be very, very interesting up in this area uh, at the 131 level. Uh, last week's low, excuse me, Friday's low was at 130.20. Uh, so if you wanted to sell this stock, the best way to do this would be for let it to go below Friday's low, and then you can stop it just a couple points above the high of Friday. That means it would have to make a completely uh, reversal type pattern, which is not easy to do in some of these markets. But... Uh, the main thing is, is that even if you decided to sell it here at 131.82, the most you have to risk is 3%. And 3% of a stock that's trading at 131 takes around 4 bucks. So you don't have to risk a whole lot in here. And 4 bucks is quite a bit for Visa. So this is something that um, Mr. Z in the den asked us to take a look at. And we certainly wanted to do that. And that's what we're going to do. Now, folks, we have to have a we have to have a voting session here. Because if you remember, we had Norm Winsky on the show last Friday because he had some special times he wanted to share with us. And I wanted to bring this to your attention. Here's the one for the, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now, this is a one-minute chart. And it's showing the high of the session came in at 10.10. Now, if you recall, Norm said it was going to come in at 10.08. So he's off two minutes. So we'll have to, we'll have to figure this was a, which was a failure would be my guess. But then, if you remember, he also said that there was going to be a, another key time of the day coming in at around 14 minutes um, after the hour. And if you'll notice here, we'll put this up. That one hit it right on the money. So he was 50% right on. I'm being tongue-in-cheek here, folks, because that is absolutely amazing to me. Now, if you put them both together, this is just the 15-minute chart. Let's just get it together so we can see here. I, you know, I've been doing this stuff a long time. I've only seen this done a few times. So I think this is, uh, this is amazing. Now, what I happen to find out is that Norm was calling around to all of his friends in Chicago and New York, getting him to sell at the exact high and buy at the exact low. So all I can assume is he's got lots of friends. But the fact that those aspects came in exactly when they said they were going to do, um, 
That that's a pretty good. You know, fifty percent is amazing. Yes, he's allowed back on the show, Terry. At least for today. We we'll have to see what he has for us today. We do this like the restaurant business. You're only as good as your last meal. If that were the case, folks, we would be on a starvation diet on my program. So let's just uh, let's just keep in mind that uh, everybody is wrong occasionally. But the fact that he hit those numbers, and you know what else is amazing? You know, I, I'm a friend of Norm's for a long time, and you know, I ask him to come on the show. But he actually asked me uh, to come on. He said, uh, "He said I want to show you these times for Friday." He said, "I feel that confident about them." I said, "Hey, come on, you know, anybody that's uh, willing to do that, you know, that's really what, uh, you know, we'll see what, uh, see how it's going to work." But anyway, that's what we're looking at here uh, today. Maybe he'll give us a nice key time for today, and we'll see uh, what's going on. We got the market again uh, stronger. We're up against some uh, really interesting. Uh, Yes, it did work beautifully. And, and you know what's, it's, what's also is amazing? I got several uh, comments from people by Skype and by email uh, about those times. So he was watching. Uh, there were a lot of people watching it, and uh, it came in. And what was nice is it came in right on those patterns that we like to see. We had a really nice ABCD pattern that crushed right at the high, and then we had a, an expansion pattern right at the low. So that, that was nice also. But uh, that must mean there must be something going on with these things otherwise uh, they wouldn't happen uh, at least one day but you know he did it before he did this in may of uh, may 19th uh, 2015 three years ago he he had the exact high day within 15 minutes so evidently he's improved his work from 15 minutes down to one minute but we'll let him come on and tell us a little bit about it now we, we completed a major pattern here last night well I, I i assume we've completed a major pattern i don't know but this is the one that we were talking about on friday and that is the uh we had this big abcd pattern that was still outstanding in the dow jo in the e-mini s&p 500 up there at that uh, four, uh, 2742 level that was right near the high of the day now that whether that's going to be the high or not high or not I don't know but we did back off about seven points you know yes and, and I, Al Larson does that a lot because you know he's the he's the money tied guy and Al uh, is really good if you ever want to see somebody that uh, that does some really great moon stuff uh, Al Larson is the man he said uh, that's moneytide.com if you have uh, if you're paying an interest in that we've had a, a question about uh, the Bitcoin I wanted to bring it up here just to show you that we are headed down which is not a big surprise we assumed that 10,000 was going to be a pretty good resistance because it was right at the 61 percent retracement and we hit it twice you know, once in the mid mid April and once in early May, so that means that the 61 percent retracement coming down is going to be around 70 um, 7500. So we'll see if that see if that holds. That's a thousand points from where we are right now. We're trading around uh, 8500 right now in Bitcoin. So that'll be an interesting uh, interesting one you know, to uh, sort of pay attention to. There's one particular cycle that I have a, uh, an interest in that I don't know if it's going to be working or not, but right now it's working perfectly, and that is platinum. I'll talk about this when we get back from the break. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Are you an options trader that's looking for that extra edge when placing trades? David White will be hosting a webinar on May 16th, which is the Wednesday leading up to options expiration Friday in May, where he'll discuss in depth the methodology he uses for trading options near expiration, including swing trading setups and expiration day trading scenarios. Subscribers to each of Dave's newsletters, Path of Least Resistance and the Technology Insider, gain access to this 60 minute webinar, which will be archived if you cannot attend live. Dave has had some great Great option trades recently for his subscribers. See for yourself the trading methodology he uses when trading options by signing up today for either of his newsletters and we'll see you Wednesday, May 16th at 5 p.m. for option trading near expiration, analyzing swing trades and expiration day scenarios. For all the details and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, we're back, folks. We're taking a look at this platinum cycle. It's a 21-week cycle, and as you can see, it bottomed spot on last week like it uh, was supposed to do. But what was interesting, if we take a look at the daily chart uh, of the platinum, and, and I don't trade platinum that often, but it's certainly a good uh, lead for uh, looking at the precious metals. You'll notice we had that huge ABCD pattern that ended in December of last year that was absolutely spot on, a uh, perfect number. Uh, we came down and hit the 78% level, rallied up and made a small ABCD pattern in April, then went down and made a new low. And whether this is a bear trap or not remains to be seen, but we've had a good rally off of that. So that's a possibility. And the key to it is that 21-week cycle. If that's going to be right, then it's going to be okay. We saw this same thing in the euro about five months ago. And uh, whether that'll happen again this time, we'll have to wait and see. It's all about probabilities, but it's going to be quite interesting. Gold's trading at around 1319 this morning. Uh, it's been in the tightest trading range in a week that we've seen in a long time. We've only had a a $22 uh, per ounce weekly range, which is in, uh, which was really a, a big thing. So that's a, a main thing. Anyway, just keep in mind uh, that that's a very important cycle uh, in the platinum. They're chatting a little bit about Warren Buffett in the room today, folks. Believe me, uh, I followed Warren Buffett for many, many years. And one of my favorite stories was uh, many years ago, I think it was 93 or 94, uh, he had a, the, he came out and he was on uh, uh, this, I think it was just when. CNBC just started. Yes, it was. That must have been 90, must have been 97 then. But he said he owned 25% of all the above ground silver. And silver was trading at about 14 bucks an ounce. And uh, uh, two months later, when the Berkshire Hathaway came out with their holdings, they, hold, they held no silver at all. And silver had gone from $14 down to 7 So uh, because what he says and what he does is not necessarily the same thing. But there's no question about uh, his uh, philanthropy and all of his, uh, you know, the, the wonderful things that he's done. But uh, sometimes they have an ulterior motive when they're talking. In fact, 
even people like myself, I don't have any ulterior motive, but the there are people that, uh, you know, talk about their positions. You see this quite a bit with uh, Ray Dalio and um, Ackerman and some of these other fellows. So just remember, let the charts be your guide because they can't hide from you. If they're going up, the prices are going up. And if they're going down, prices are going down. You know, that's pretty much the, the bottom line of uh, what we're watching here so we'll we'll just keep that in mind now we're having some uh, a little bit of uh, uh, altercations I guess over in the Middle East there in uh, Jerusalem today because of the uh, the new uh, the new uh, office I can't remember what they call that thing <laughs> oh dear I can't well wow, that's a bad sign anyway th that the crude oil is acting you know, it's really not acting very bearish, folks. It's only down a dollar eighty from its high, and it made it's a U.S. embassy. Thank you very much, Tucker. And I've been, you know, anyway, um, it's only backed off a buck and a half, and the gasoline uh, backed off even less. So uh, this we could still make a new high in crude oil. I don't know, but uh, we, we were able to sell that right at the high. So the only way I can handle that is to put the stop at break even, and see, you know, what's going to happen you know with that after all now getting back to the stock market um, we have a situation where we're up I believe uh, this is the seventh day uh, was Friday so we made a higher high than Friday so that's the eighth day in a row that we've made a higher high which is a, a pretty big thing to do but we've got there's only one pattern that is really let's just bring this pattern up to show you what it this is let me just show you technical analysis folks here is the Nasdaq and if you look at this chart you see that doesn't look like there's anything here why well, it certainly doesn't, but if you take a quick look at what pattern recognition can do for you, all you have to do is to just draw in your lines and put in your ratios, and you'll see a pattern that pops up that looks very, very familiar, and that is the head and shoulders pattern, and we hit that number uh, spot on last night in the, uh, we al well, we almost hit um, 7,000 even. We got up to, uh, I believe, a 796 or 696, I believe. So uh, it, it's still, still spot on with the ABCD, and the head and shoulders is still there. So uh, that is an ABCD in a downtrend, and that's what Gartley said on page 222 of his book. Uh, if you see that pattern, you know, you should do it because uh, that's the easiest short sale you're going to get. Now, the, the market that has been leading this all along has been the banking index. And if we bring up the banking index here, you're going to see that we're seeing the exact same pattern. We're seeing the same A, B, C, D pattern from late March. Well, it's early April. For, well, actually, late March, the 29th of March, uh, to where we are Friday. Uh, it was right spot on at the 61% retracement. So uh, that pattern is completed also. However, this is not a head and shoulders pattern. And the reason why is you do not have any symmetry uh, with the head with either shoulder and that that you really need that. That's a that's a very, very important concept in order to do that. When Dr. Andrew Lowe did his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street uh, in, in 2002, one of the things that those formulas worked on was those time sequences to make sure that those shoulders or the head and shoulders pattern had symmetry because his whole premise of that book was markets repeat over and over again with regularity and they are predictable within limits. And the only way you can do that is to mathematically quantify whether the shoulders are either uh, lower or higher. So I think that's a, a relatively important point. Uh, to take a look at. Uh, someone's asked a question about the uh, the gold market. I just wanted to bring up where we were in the gold market as of Friday. And remember, this is over the last two months. I'll bring this up so you can take a quick look at it. Uh, you'll notice here, in fact, we're trading right about uh, where it was, 1319, when I did this chart. But you'll notice what we have here is we have an ABCD pattern here uh, on the uh, on the gold, and it's taken. If you'll if you'll notice, it's taken uh, actually two weeks to make that small ABCD pattern. So, in two weeks, we've only had a twenty-two dollar rally in gold. That's not a very bullish sign, folks. Now, if we get above thirteen twenty-eight, that would be totally different. But this is not a really bullish sign on the gold. But we 
we do have some bullish things coming in. Of course, we've got the uh, we've got the new moon tomorrow, and maybe Norm will be able to share with us uh, some of those timing things that he that he was able to. I really don't think he was lucky, folks, because you can't you can't hit the exact high and the exact low very often. And uh, to do that, I thought it was very good. At first, I thought it was amusing. But then when I looked at it really closely and several people pointed it out to me, I said, well, that's not I'm supposed to pay attention to this. I, I, anyway, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. But anyway, the gold still has some really, really bullish things going on. The $64 question for me in gold is whether it's going to get down, you know, to make that, uh, that bigger – price objective that we're looking at that could get there which is 1285 that's a good 30 bucks 33 dollars from where we are right now whether it'll do that or not you know i'm not absolutely sure but we we need to uh, pay a little bit of attention to that so we got a few bills here to pay pretty soon and when we get back we're going to have norm winsky from astro trends on so if you have any questions you know call in let norm answer them for you and uh, i've got a questions here that people have already asked me to ask him but uh, we'll be right back 877-927-6648 Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Mr. Lucky on the line. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir, Larry. 
Well, you're the talk of the town today, buddy. You hit a couple of spots on Friday spot on. I want to congratulate you on that one. And, you know, I told the folks that you actually requested to come on and talk about those two aspects. So fire away, buddy. You got the microphone. It's your show. All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, when I was last on your show for the regular appearance, I was on on April 25th to warn the folks what was coming up that weekend. That was like on a Wednesday. And so we have here April 27th, we had a couple of big cycles hitting for the U.S., which means we want to watch the U.S. financials, which means U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar. And then we also had a full moon over that weekend. Uh, by the way, AC, if you're not familiar with my lingo, it means after the close on the 27th, 27th of the Friday. So we're looking over the weekend into Monday the 30th. And so let's, so let's see what happened. So here you go. Here's your S&P 500 cash index. There's the 30th, and there's a nice little uh, trading top there. I think over the next, uh, you look there, your high was uh, 82, opened at 75. If you op sold the opening there, you and had you know, reason you know, reasonable stop. Uh, I think it would have been okay, and uh, we dropped about 80 handles over the next uh, one, two, three, four trading days. That's pretty good. I think you could have made some money there. Here's your T-bonds. They made a little short-term top there for a couple of days right there. And there you go, the green arrow, right? Now, the dollar was not as cooperative as the other two, as the uh, previous two. Uh, you had a breakout acceleration point here. What I do is I box in these prices during my time window, and then you have good money management. And if you take out the high of that, t that box, then you should, at a minimum, stop and get out. And, uh, and possibly, if you're aggressive type you might want to go the other way and go with the acceleration that's what we had there on the dollar let's see where the red error, red line is market broke out over those previous highs of the two previous days so that would be then you could have uh, you know made it taken a small loss on the short and probably made it up on on the long side shortly thereafter okay let's go look at we had the full moon there though we round up the usual suspects for the full moon which are your, uh, you know, your let's see what, uh, financials, grains, precious metals, and of course the stock market is the big basket of everything. So anything important happening will affect the stock market. But also because it was in the sign of Scorpio, we should we have running a special on cocoa, hogs, and T bonds. So let's go look at those markets now. We just looked at the T bonds, so you know what that was. Here's your cocoa. That's not too bad right there. There's a nice little top right there on your on your cocoa for the uh, of May one. So I was off, uh, off a day from, uh, you know, one day from your our target of the 30th. And here's your hogs were near perfection. The hogs went to the trough right on the April 30th there, right? Did a little hog humor there, Larry? The yeah, it was very little. Yes, we got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and here's your beans. Look at that. Bango, bingo. All right. On the 30th, there's a nice little top there on your beans. Okay, and here's the corn every now and then. I believe it or not, Larry, every now and then I'm not lucky, and it's not perfect. So every now and then we miss. There's your corn. Corn did not cooperate, so we probably would have taken a small loss on the corn, you know? Norm, I have a question. There's two questions, actually. Are you going to go over what those aspects were on Absolutely. Friday? Absolutely. Okay, good. You keep going yep. then. Fire away. Yep, I'll be there shortly. Take here's your time. Here's your silver. I just wanted to review. I believe that we should always review what we forecast it and what we have laid out because then you can learn see how and then you can see how you're doing you know uh, here's your silver uh, again like the uh, it's off uh, off by one day uh, see that's the 30th right there if you bought there and hung in there for a reasonable stop loss you would have been okay I think it, it dropped maybe another 20 cents and uh, so you know if you're allowed two hundred dollars I think you would have been okay I think it dropped like 13 15 cents something like that then it turned around the next day and then went up 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 Here's your gold, did pretty much the same thing right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. And now we're moving on. Oh, this is what you've been waiting for, Larry. You must be uh, psychopathic or something. Here we go. All okay. right, so uh, what's that? Right, it's close enough. <laughs> there you go. So here's our six times. If you didn't see this on Friday, you might want to write these times down. It'll be a little easier to follow along. You got 1008, I got 101, I got 102, I got 214, I got 230, and 240. All of these are U.S. Eastern time. Here we go. Here's the first one right there where the green arrow is. I put the, my time was 10.08 and then the exact high. Now, I, I didn't even know, Larry, I didn't even know the Dow made its high of the day. It uh, was a 10.10. 10. 
and tell you to show the chart a little while ago. I've been looking at S&P Mini and thinking, mm -hmm. oh, I was off a little bit because we did go a little bit higher later, you see. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, here, here I got to count, probably count this uh, for trading purposes as a miss because uh, it, it moved like four handles in two minutes, you know. So, if you're mm -hmm. using like two two handle stop loss, you probably mm -hmm. would have got stopped out on that uh, that thing. So there's we're some we're gonna things. give you the we're gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay. okay. Anyway, the rest of the day was pretty <laughs> smooth sailing, Larry. Because look at this. Here's my one of my 101, 102. You're coming down a little low there, and it made the low at 103. And you didn't have the you know the uh, the, the uh, volatility problem there with these guys. And then you you had a chance to make I think about three or four handles there maybe uh, a little bit a little bit of money there. And then you came down, and then we went to, here's the beautiful one of the day, 214, right to the minute, and you didn't have the volatility problem. That bar, amazingly, only was about a one-handle bar, right at the mm -hmm. bottom there, 414, and that's the time I had. And then you immediately, had you bought there, immediately could have made like seven handles, almost immediately. Look at that. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Then you would have been looking to get out, maybe on your long, because we had a two 2:30, right? A 2:30, right there, where that green that right, green is. You had a little bump in the in a, a bump on the hump there, at 2:30, and so you might have gotten long and gone short. It could have made maybe a handle or so there on that little pullback, and then if you, you know, as soon as it breaks your downtrend line, you're going to get out. So it pops right back up to uh, the high was 2:38 on that rally, and my time was 2:40, and the only difference was two ticks and two minutes. So that you would have no Almost no heat on that trade, and that's uh, that. So I think uh, you know, just being being extra mean here now. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think no, I, hit, I, I think I, I hit. I think I hit five out of six anyway. You know. Yeah, it was very good. Now the sixty-four dollar question that someone's asking is, you don't trade every one of those aspects, do you? Uh, some if I were trade if I were trading that day, I would. You know, I'm taking mm -hmm. a little break here now, but just to do some research mm -hmm. and so forth. But uh, I have people doing this and. Uh, I got a new guy, a young guy, 22 years old, started doing this three months ago. He took his account from $6,000 to 33000 here in about three months. Mm -hmm. So just trading onesies, trading onesies. Well, what is it, what's he trading, the E-mini S&P yeah, or Dow Jones? Yeah, e mini right. Okay. That's well, it. That's, a, well, that's, that's better than 5% a year. There you go. It's, it's almost a living, you know, almost minimum wage. Now, like the, like the restaurant business, what's up for today? What's up, Doc? Coming up yeah. there, here's, the, here's okay. our future. As we gaze into the crystal ball, Larry, here's what's coming up. So today's the 14th. AAC, that's after the close. That's tonight. Won't be any just, uh, well, it'll be just any uh, uh, regular night. New moon in Taurus, okay, short term. So we round up the usual suspects. Plus, because it's in Taurus, you got your cattle, cotton, and greens. And you got your cattle and cotton is Taurus. Yeah, and we also had to pay. Principles. We also had to pay some bills. Stay with us, and we'll be right back. We'll finish. Yes, we'll start with cattle again. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. 
On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. As Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with uh, Norm Winsky of AstroTran. Norm, we have a question for one of our listeners uh, about the May 8th date when we had a Jupiter conjunction. That that didn't seem uh, to do very much. Any comment about that? I'd have to go look at that, and uh, we got a lot of material. I had them call me afterwards, and we'll uh, take a look at it. You know, May 8th, May 8th. Uh, don't remember that now. <laughs> okay, yeah. go right ahead. I'd have, Continue on. I'd, I'd have to go back. Lots of data here, you know. I, uh, I don't have all this memorized, so, you know, so I okay. have to uh, go look into it, you know. So anyway, so we have, uh, tonight is not just, to quote West Side Story, tonight is not just any night. Tonight there will be a new moon in Taurus, and so we want to round up our usual suspects for new moons, plus, because it's in Taurus, the bull, that's going to be also cattle, cotton, plus your greens, precious metals, and financials. And then tomorrow morning, this is really interesting, Larry. Uh, you, the planet Uranus, which takes 84 years to go around the sun, is going to leave, going to go enter the sign Taurus the Bull tomorrow morning. For yeah. the first time since June, well, not the, the first time it's been in Taurus, it's what, what I, we would call an initial ingress. Ingress is when you're entering a sign, and the, the first time it enters, the last time it did this was in June, June 6th of 1934. You remember that, Larry, right? right? Yes, I remember. I was in the fifth grade. It was four go. years I was in the fifth grade there at St. Benedict's. Go ahead, continue on. Yes, there you go. So anyway, pretty neat to think about it. The odds of having a new moon within a few hours of Uranus, which only does this every 84 years, a new moon in Taurus, line up mm -hmm. with the Uranus going into Taurus within a few hours of that event. That's pretty amazing. You know, I think that's a pretty mm -hmm. rare event. You know, So just keep that in mind. And then to further uh, uh, emphasize this, we're going to also have Mars changing sign. It's going to make a, 90, a crucial 90-degree angle to Uranus entering Taurus. It's going to enter Aquarius, which is 90 degrees. And so that's what's considered a stressful mm -hmm. aspect. And any time the planets change sign, that tends to cause a shift in emphasis in the markets and often will bring at least at a minimum a short-term correction to the stock market as the money managers shift their money from one sector to another. There we go. And so now at the end of the week, we're going to have uh, a lineup with the U.S., and it's involving, uh, it looks pretty positive, and also going to involve the U.S. Neptune, which implies not only we're going to have the U.S. financials, but you also want to watch for uh, possibly some big shift in crude oil. So that's at the end of the week. That'll be next weekend. So moving ahead here, let's look at the charts. Cattle, now the way to make money on this stuff is you got to have the market in the right condition. What do, we, what do I mean by that? you got to have a good setup. A good setup is... We're going to use Newton's law. For every action, there's an opposite equal reaction. 
So we have to have the market have a movement ahead of this to set up that it's going to react and go the other way. So now we have the cattle here. The cattle is going sideways. The bulls are dozy. They're sleeping, and that's not a good thing. They better have a big movement here in the next day or so, or we're going to have to take a pass on the cows, let them go back out to pasture. You know, the cotton mm -hmm. looks a little better. You got some action here in the ca in the cotton, and that you just had a nice down move and getting toward the bottom of the channel, so you might get a little bit of a low here in, in the cotton in the next day or two. Here's your copper. It's mid-range, so we may need to, again, you need to move the have the copper move one to one side of the channel or the other to do anything there. Here's your corn. Corn, the grains are coming down, as you will see with a couple more charts there. Uh, cotton is, uh, I mean, corn is, uh, you, know, uh, you know, down to this smaller channel here. And then, you know, the, the, the more extreme, the better. That's, that's the deal. You know, the bigger the move, the, the bigger the reaction, you know. Here's your mm -hmm. beans. Beans actually look kind of interesting because they're probably, of the, all the grains here, probably have the more extreme movement. And that they're scraping this uh, lower channel here, and so it'd be looking for probably looking for a, a bottom in the grains here in the next one to two days. Here's your weak kind of mid-range to the last up move, and so that's I would like to, I would probably lean more toward the beans than the wheat, unless the wheat has a big down move here in the next uh, day or two. You know, mm -hmm. here's your gold. You asked me about I mentioned the gold. Hoping I talk about that. Uh, there, let's see where the gold is. Uh, rallying into the new moon and if you're a bull that's probably not good because now we can make a little short-term top here on the new moon and potentially roll over so unless it takes out this top over here you're probably looking for it to pull back into the new moon it uh you know so we have to wait and see what happens here over the next one to two days you know if it pulls back into the new moon we can set up a possible low if it stays up here toward the top that's a possible top here's your coffee I've, I've previously talked about the coffee. You might remember back in April, I nailed that bottom day there on the 17th. Then we had a nice 10 handle rally, and now we got a pullback. Big picture on the coffee is if this could. Uh, I had major cycles here back on April 17th. We had a rally. Now we got a pullback. If we were to hold here and then turn higher, that could be a longer term, or rather bullish for the coffee. You know? Plus, mm -hmm. May tends to be a, a a seasonal month. is an important seasonal month for coffee. Often get major highs. Uh, in the coffee in May, but it's, you know, we're running out of time here in May, so it's going to do it. It better do it pretty quickly, you know. Here's your crude oil coming up at the end of the week. I got that on my shopping list for the, take a look at the end of the week. Uh, that's the 18th after the close. And so now I can't say too much about it yet. You might need another week to finish off this crude oil move here. Here's your dollar, same thing. Oh, here's the dollar has had had a nice up move. And now it's kind of broken its uh, up channel here and uh, losing some momentum. But again, we got right now, we got the new moon, so we might be making a little short-term low here. And then we'll have to wait and see again at the end of the week what's going to happen. Here's your T-bonds kind of forming a little wedgie pattern here. And uh, so they are kind of need to wait, maybe wait one more day to see which way they're, if they're going to break to the bottom of this channel or break out up here. And then they'll probably reverse within another one to two days as we get you know into the new moon tomorrow, you know. Here's the S&P, probably, probably one of the better setups of all these charts because, as you pointed out, Larry, we're eight days up on the Dow Jones, and we're near the top of this channel here, and so that's uh, it doesn't get much better than that. So if this thing continues hovering near its highs here over the next day or so, we're probably going to put in some kind of a minimum short-term top here, be my guess. Mm -hmm. And so well, here we go. Now here's uh, something that you want to say or ask, Larry? Yes, uh, we have a question from one of our listeners. Could you repeat what you said about the gold, Norm? What your what your uh, opinion is here on gold? Well, the gold is kind of uh, kind of. Let's see. I got to go back to the, here. Here's the gold chart, and you know we rallied here over the last three, four trading days into a into just ahead of the new moon. Uh, short term, that's right now kind of bearish, you know, because what well, mm -hmm. if we make a short term top here on the new moon, then you're going to be turning down, you know, right? But if we pull back here today, go back to this green line here, and retest the lows by the end of the day or early tomorrow, then it might be okay, you know, for on the long side, right? Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, Norm, what we're going to do here is we gotta, we're going to continue on, but we're going to have a break. Then after the break, could you come back, and then we'll uh, let the folks how how they could reach you. So why don't you continue on for – oh, we got a break coming up here anyway, right. so – 
let's just wait here. And then when we get back from the break, I'd like you to tell the folks how they can reach you. And uh, we'll have you again on maybe towards the uh, end of the month when we've got a, another new moon coming up, I guess, in the uh, 2nd Probably of full, June, I think. Full moon at the end of uh, – no, end of May, end of May, right? End of May, right, right yeah, the end the, of May, right yeah. Around, right around Memorial Day, right? Yeah, and any time that you have those key times that you'd like to uh, bring those to our attention, let us know. We'll have you on for a cameo experience. As long okay. as they work, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll be right back with Norm Winsky of, Astros, of Astro Trends. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Norm Winsky of AstroTran. Norm, uh, you want to continue on and tell the folks how they can reach you? Yes, sir. Um, I, I have a monthly letter. I have the intraday times, too. That's a separate letter. And uh, I cover most major markets and, you know, most of your major futures markets. And believe it or not, I'm offering a free introductory class, six hours individual, me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, mana on mana. And just get a hold of me right away, and I'll get you, I can only do about six or eight of these per month. And so you want to contact me right away so you can get in line for the next batch of free classes. And uh, it's a six-hour class, so this is for people who love to learn and want to learn about the markets and improve their market timing. 
And so there you go. All you got to do is get a hold of me here. I'm in uh, beautiful, sunny Florida. Here's my phone number, 239-594-3939. There's my email. You want to draw I know it's a complicated email. Sorry about that. And once again, embark, E-M-B-A-R-Q-M-A-I-L.com. And there's my Skype handle. That's norm.winsky. And so looking forward to helping the folks there, Larry. And okay. uh, call me right away. Don't wait till the end of the month because I'll be busy writing the next letter. I can. I got a little bit of extra time here this month in the middle of the month uh, to talk to the folks and get you all lined up for uh, the next uh, group of classes. So looking forward okay. to helping some folks, Larry. Okay, thanks for joining us, Norm, and we'll certainly have you on again as long as you keep giving us these wonderful times. <laughs> okay, that I was really, it. You know, That was really amazing, Norm. It really was. I've seen a lot of things in my uh, 56 years of trading, but that was absolutely the fact that you asked to come on to talk to us about those two major aspects and that they hit spot on. And uh, I, I just think we should uh, oh, you hear that it sound. Or not, Larry, that is not for me to hit the high or the low of the day like that. It's not that uncommon. I do that every few days or so, you know. So well, that's uh, very good. It's, yeah, I don't have to be smart. I just have smart tools. Yeah. I think yep. that the genius lies in the solar system. You know? All right, my friend. Thanks a lot. Norm Winsky of Astro Trend. Now, folks, I'll be gone tomorrow, but I'll be back on Wednesday. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!